2552. There was a, a gap above where the VIX was. And oftentimes what we see take place is when a gap, when a, when a, when a significant gap is filled on, say, the VIX or the AD, what will happen is that the market will turn. That indicator will turn and you'll see a corresponding move in the spoos. So that gap was just filled on the VIX. That's why you have that blue dot that you can barely see, but you can see it's been recorded in the margin over here. Now what we also see happening here Remember what, what we said previously, down here, oh, come on, down here at 68.50, right there, that didn't show much strength to me, at least. And although the market did take off, it has just as easily come right back. So let's, it looks like we're going to come back down and we're going to retest that price. And let's see what color it is when it does. Okay, now we're now we've we've come right back down to that price, and the color of the bar, that last bar that formed, was cyan. That's a, obviously a stronger color than dark magenta. Cyan is a value of two. Dark magenta is four, negative four, actually. So now that we've come back down to that price and there's more strength, this is now far more likely to enable the market to go back up with some strength. Yellow's not good. <laughs> Yellow is not good. That's weak. It's got to get back to cyan or better. Now we may drop a little further, but that's what we... Uh, okay, we got a little activity going on, so... We probably pulled a long trade. Well, not yet. Well, that certainly isn't a good place to take a long trade up there, but then, then again, we didn't filter that either, so. Okay, now I'm just going to go back here. See, now we're, we're gold at that price, or at least we were for a, for a moment. That's the kind of strength we need in order to make that price take off, in my estimation. sell it at this price. Not yet.
This can move so fast that I'm continuing to record because I want to be able to call it right when we see evidence. No, nope, not yet. It's yellow. It's weak. Twenty-five tick bar chart. Or pardon me. Each twenty-five tick bar. <laughs> we register its strength based upon a series of different tick bar intervals that are all calculating a MACD. So all, all of these colors are being generated from MACD calculations. But we do something very unusual with the MACD. Nobody else is doing it. And it took a whole heck of a lot of programming in order to get us there. But that's another subject. Okay, we're dropping a little further. There we have a s that bar, that cyan bar, could be enough to let this thing take off. Could be. So, let's see if we had a... Uh, a long trade in there. Not yet. Yeah, I don't like these long trades. I'm looking for a long trade at this price level. I'm going to refresh our chart. Hang on. Okay, we had, um, let's just kind of go back and review what took place there. Now, we had mentioned before that that magenta, dark magenta bar, mm. that price, in my experience, would need to be tested with some strength before a sustained rally would take place. Now it did move up obviously but it also came right back down and when we finally hit that price again we were stronger we were stronger and it dipped one tick below and the color of the bar was cyan now that's a strong color, that's a value of 2 compared to a negative 4, dark magenta. So this is stronger and correspondingly the market began to move up again. Now we're still having some difficulty. It's not being sustained and I don't like that. But that's the way it is. So it may still need some more strength before it can continue to rally up. We uh, we fervently believe. <laughs> <laughs> 